Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I'll show you how to manage QuickBooks Online bank feeds. This is a feature that allows you to automatically import bank and credit card transactions directly into your QuickBooks Online. Once your transactions are imported, I'll cover how to add them to the check register as a new transaction or match them to an existing transaction. I'll also show you how to set up bank rules so that you can reduce the time it takes to classify transactions in the banking center. To open the QuickBooks Online Banking Center, hover over Banking on the left-hand side toolbar and then click Banking drop-down. The QuickBooks Online Banking Center includes a tile across the top for each bank and credit card account that's connected to QuickBooks. Each tile includes the name of the financial institution, the current bank balance, and the current account balance logged in QuickBooks Online. If your bank isn't shown in a tile at the top of the screen, it isn't yet connected to QuickBooks Online. See my tutorial on how to import bank transactions into QuickBooks to connect your bank account. Let's go ahead and review this screen before we move forward. First up is bank balance. This is the actual balance in your bank account as of the last time QuickBooks imported your banking transactions. Below that, you'll see the QuickBooks balance. This will be different from the bank balance as a result of bank transactions that haven't been added to the check register or transactions in the check register that haven't been processed by the bank, such as checks that have been recently issued. Next is bank feed transactions. These transactions imported through your bank feed are organized into three tabs. The for review, which are imported transactions that initially appear in the for review tab, where you must add, match, or exclude them. The categorized transactions, after adding and matching the transactions in the For Review tab, they're displayed in the Categorized tab, which means they're already recorded in the check register. And Excluded. The Excluded tab lists imported transactions that you have chosen to not transfer to your QuickBooks Online check register. Excluding should be extremely rare and likely only used when correcting a previous error. All bank transactions, even if personal transactions, must be entered into the QuickBooks Online check register. All newly imported banking transactions will initially appear in the For Review tab at the bottom of the Banking Center screen. This is where you can review, categorize, and match your transactions before adding them to your accounting records. Each transaction in the For Review tab must be added to the check register, matched to an existing transaction already in QuickBooks, or excluded from QuickBooks altogether. It's crucial that imported transactions are matched to any existing transactions instead of being added as new transactions. If you add transactions that already exist, the check register will include them twice, and your bank account and financial statements will be incorrect. Some examples of imported bank transactions that will already exist in QuickBooks Online include checks printed from QuickBooks and deposits of customer payments already recorded as a collection of an invoiced amount. QuickBooks Online suggests a match between the payment and the bill, and you can review and confirm the match before completing the transaction. When you match a payment to an outstanding bill, QuickBooks will create a bill payment transaction and record it in the check register. To review the details of the match, click anywhere on the transaction. When you are certain that the match is correct, click on the green match button. 
The match transaction will move from the For Review tab to the Categorize tab. This indicates that the transaction has been successfully reconciled and accounted for in QuickBooks. You can undo the match by clicking on the Reviewed tab, locating the transaction, and clicking Undo. The transaction will then move back to the For Review tab, where you can categorize or match it again if needed. Imported transactions that have not been entered into QuickBooks can be added as new transactions to the check register. An example might be an electronic payment of an expense where the bill was not recorded in QuickBooks. To add a transaction, click anywhere on the transaction and then tap the Add button. The only requirement to add a new transaction is to provide a category or account from your chart of accounts. However, I highly recommend that you also provide the vendor, customer or project, class, and location so that QuickBooks has all of the available information to run useful management reports. If a class and location do not appear on your screen, you need to enable class and location tracking. I explain this in my tutorial on how to set up advanced options in QuickBooks Online. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out adjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.